Quick video, just uh, bought a house out in the sticks. I got the Starlink Gen 3 router, Starlink Gen 3 satellite, and I also ordered a Gen 3 mesh router for this whole system. Wanted to run my internet from here, satellites up on the roof, run into that router right there. Um, it kind of points towards this window here. Not a direct shot out the window, but at least in the general direction. My shed's down there. I don't know how far it is. I'm just going to walk it so you can get an idea how far it is. If I had to guess, gun to my head, 150 feet. I have no idea. I didn't measure it, so we'll just walk it. But there's the satellite, unfinished, of course, um, with all the cords. Just kind of, we just are starting to get stuff put together here. But um, let's go down to the shed. That's where the mesh router's at. So you can get an idea of what the speeds are like, how the performance is, and uh, go from there. My speed's in the house right now, download, today, sunny day, no clouds. I was getting around 260 in the house, uh, megs, download. Upload was like 30. There's my satellite, not that it really matters, but we'll go the rest of the way down to the shed here. These things on paper look awesome, so I figured I'd try this before I bought any point-to-point. -point systems to shoot Wi-Fi out here. If you don't know what that is, just Google like point to point Wi-Fi bridge. There's like a hundred different options. Um, but anyway, from there to here, this is a temporary setup because I just wanted to see if it'd work. I had about, if you're trying to gauge if this will work for you, I had about three bars on my phone Wi-Fi, like the signal, I think there's six on there. So maybe three or four from the house to here. But the minute you go in the shed, it's, it completely drops. Um, I know Wi-Fi through metal, it's not going to work. So I went ahead and tested it anyway. I moved, I had this sitting about right here, uh, about five feet, eight feet in front of it. And then I did the Wi-Fi map on the Starlink app where it gives you a grid of how your quality is. And I stood right here with the mesh connected and it said very poor. So even just one sheet of metal, let alone coming through that wall and then trying to go in there, there's no way that's gonna happen um, with any kind of good quality. So don't expect to do that. But semi straight line of sight, just a bush and you know the poles on the front porch. I guess there's a chair sitting up on my rail for some reason. Um, but anyway, about 250 is what I got out here for download speeds when I was connected to this mesh node. I wanted to make sure I wasn't still connected to the one in the house, which I don't think the results would have been that good if I was anyway, but I stood over here um, where there's metal in between me and the house and a clear view to the node or the mesh, whatever. It calls it a node in the app. So the speeds right here where I'm standing were 250 and that's not pointing straight at me. That's just open air. So these mesh routers are pretty awesome. Um, you don't have to have a secondary router. If you do the point to point connection, you'll need a secondary router out here, which means you'll have to not be connected to your Starlink directly anymore. You'll have to disconnect from that and connect to your router that's out in your shed. Pros and cons, the router out in your shed, you can run that point to point connector from like up on the corner and then run a cord down and have your router inside and that eliminates the whole how do I get signal in without having your service be worse because one way or the other it's going to be going through this metal. Uh, my solution is going to be I'm going to take this and I'm going to mount it right about here in the corner. So what that should do for me is give me a pretty close uh, shot to the house and I'm hoping that it'll still have good service here. And that'll put it in the shed, and so everywhere else in the shed should be good to go after that. I can post updates if people want it. Um, that still leaves the problem of a metal garage door. So I'm thinking when it's closed, it looks like this. I'm thinking it'll probably be, I mean, I'll just change how high I have it on the wall there, but I'll probably go high enough that I can take out this level here. Um of metal and either I could just cut it and put windows across it. Um, but I'm going to get some garage door windows to put through there on this door thinking that when the door shut, 
I can still have a view of the house and when it's open it won't matter because um, it'll obviously not have any metal in between the two but that'll get me service out here in my shed I don't have to have a second router to connect to out here and then we've got a little uh, studio built inside the pole barn that's a little mother-in-law suite um, we should be able to have good Wi-Fi in here as long as the router itself is inside the shed um, but again I can post updates on all, how all that's working once everything's mounted and not sitting on a speaker outside the front of the shed but all in all these gen 3 mesh routers with the whole gen 3 system I don't know how it would mix with a gen 2 system I've never had one so I can't speak on how this would communicate and work with that but all gen 3 gear if you're looking to do a point-to-point -point to try to get out to your shed this distance here doesn't seem to affect it at all a bush in the way I don't know how it would be affected by like a whole row of trees or something I would have to imagine it'd be worse but um, this setup here if you have a relatively clear view it's not looking straight at the one in the house so um, just the fact that it's shooting out that window up there seems to make this thing happy so I can post an update once it's mounted and see how it works through the windows and stuff but as of right now if you're looking for a Gen 3 mesh router solution, it seems like it'll work. I'm gonna do this instead of the point-to-point -point connection and see how it goes. But I only saw like two other videos. Hopefully this helps somebody.